In this video, we are gonna continue working on our Google Sheets annual plan project and working our way down the template. Our next area is the strength piece. In this piece, we are gonna be able to rank our different strength qualities from highest to lowest, which is gonna allow us to quickly and easily view the training priority for that cycle. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and we are starting off with the sheet as we left it off in the last video. And as a quick recap of where, how far we've come, we have created this part at the top where we can add our team name, starting date, strength coach name, etc., as well as the goals for our training. All of these dates here are dynamic based on the date that we choose from our menu and all of the dates will change accordingly. As well, we have this section here where we can start to plan out our macro, meso, and micro cycles, as well as an option to, from a drop-down list, select home and away games. Now, the next section that we are gonna be completing is a section where we can start to program out our strength training qualities. So I've already created this template a few times so I know exactly how um, big I want this section to be. And to start, all we're gonna do is take this next row and I'm going to just right click resize this down to 10 because as I've mentioned in the other videos, I just like to add a row that is size 10 in between my sections and I just think that that keeps everything organized. Now from there, what I wanna do is I'm just going to create a big box, but I'm going to take seven rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll take these seven rows and I'm just going to create a giant box around those. So I'm gonna use the border tool and then create my box there. And then the same way that we've done before, I'm just going to merge and center these different sections. Drag the last couple down. Let's change my formatting a little bit. And then just as we have up here, I'm going to put this section in its own box. And then I know that I'm going to need the top in its own box as well. So that is going to be the outline of my section. Now when I'm doing my annual plans, I like to have a section where I can outline what my primary and my secondary focus are going to be. So I'm gonna put that right here and I'm just going to type in primary focus and secondary focus. And I'm gonna use these cells in here. What I'll do is I'm just going to um, border these with, I like the um, dotted lines in here. And if I was programming this myself and I had this preparatory phase and maybe this is where I wanted to work on something like hypertrophy, what I would do is take these boxes and then merge them and then start to type in my values in there. Now, I always want this to center across all of these boxes. So I'm just going to take all of them and change the alignment to center. And now that hypertrophy is gonna be centered across there. And maybe I would wanna follow that up by a four week strength phase and so on and so forth. And we can just merge these boxes as we needed to. And if I wanted to um, unmerge them, I can just take one of the boxes and drag it back over and it will automatically unmerge all of those. So I'm just gonna undo that. And then for my secondary focus, I would do the same thing. So maybe for this first four weeks, I only wanted um, strength as my secondary focus there. And then maybe power for the next three. And you can see how we can start to use these um, boxes to just outline the types of qualities that we wanna work on. Now, if you're setting this up for yourself, you don't have to use the same headings or terminology as I do but it just helps if you um, are able to look at your template at a glance and be able to know exactly what you need to work on when. Now, the second part of this section is I like to have down below um, a color number section where I can rank from one to five how important each um, quality is for me. So I'm just gonna type in the qualities that I typically put in. So hypertrophy, um, strength, strength power, power, and then peaking. And each of these means something slightly different to me. Depending on what my primary and secondary focus, each of these are gonna have a rank out of one, with one being probably the most important thing to work on during that time, 
and five being the least important. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put that same dotted line border in here and I'm going to center all of these values. And what I would like this to do is automatically color code based on the number that I select. So I'm gonna select all of these cells and then go to my format and conditional formatting. And what I'm gonna do is actually add a color scale to this and I'll go down to custom color scale. My uh, minimum value, I want to be this kind of green color. My maximum value, I'll make this sort of bright red color and then percentile 50, so that's the middle value, let's just make this yellow color. And now I'll hit done, and what you'll notice is, as I start to color these in, we're gonna have this highlighted area, where now, maybe for four weeks, the hypertrophy is the most important, and then um, strength is second most important for a couple weeks, but then strength power becomes more important, and maybe power is third, and this is fourth, and peaking is still fifth, kind of all the way across. And you can start to see how these different colors can now highlight um, the different training qualities. And I find this really effective for, at a glance, being able to look exactly at the different training qualities and knowing exactly how I have to do my program. Now, if you're doing this for yourself, you could only put the numbers one to five and it's easy just to type those in. But if we wanted to, I'm gonna just show you how you could make this a drop down. So we could do something like data, data validation, and then we can choose a list of items and I could be one, two, three, four, five. And if I hit save, you can see that now these become a drop down, and I can start to select um, any of those values and it will just allow me to label them the way that I would. Now the only thing with this is in Google Sheets, obviously the drop down menu sits in the cell. So we got around that before by um, taking our numbers and turning them horizontally. But if it doesn't bother you too much and you just wanna look at the colors, you could easily just leave it like this. And if we were to print it, they would all look kind of um, the same. So that is the next section of our annual planner template. And as we push forward, we have a few more sections left to go, including some graphics and graphs at the end that will really allow you to see at a glance how your team um, plan is progressing. So I hope this video helps you out. And if it does, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you can keep up with everything that I'm trying to put out to help coaches. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.